Have you ever wondered what is the best way to put your wig into a ponytail? Well, with this new invisible strap through the elastic drawstring, it's an easy fix and takes out all of the guesswork when you place your wig into a ponytail. You can wear it into a bun or you can have it as a long ponytail. Let's get into it. All right, as you see, my ponytail was looking so natural. I'm super excited to be sharing this wig with you guys today. I have mine in a straight texture and it also comes with a beautiful lace that you can blend effortlessly and you will be able to see that later on in the video how easy and seamless this wig melts into my skin. This is a 360 lace unit and it has lace that comes all around the wig. It also has a deep side parting area unlike a lot of wigs you may run into the track on the side but not here and another thing to highlight is that this is Swiss lace so it will easily melt into your skin perfectly no matter what skin tone you have again this is a new 360 lace cap that comes with an invisible lace strap and the convenience of this wig is that it does not come with those adjustable straps that's usually at the bottom of your wigs that have those little metal pieces that is so irritating when they get hung on your hair in the back of your neck. I hate that. But here, you don't have to worry about that. And also have wefts in the middle to make sure that your wig is super full. And I also will be gluing my wig down, but first, look at how this lace is. I didn't customize or anything. I didn't pluck it. It came just like this. So it is pre-plucked. It is pre-bleached. And the only thing you have to do is what I'm doing here. Just prep it to your liking and cut off the lace. For me, like I said, I will be gluing it down. It look amazing. So let's go ahead and cut this lace around my ears because this is a full 360 unit. So I do want to cut the lace from around my ear and then I will go ahead and apply my glue in the front. If you're going for that natural wig install, which I'm pretty sure most of us are, this is the wig for you because it has a super pre-plucked hairline paired with this thin, super delicate lace. It's the best. So I can't wait to go ahead and install this. Let me go ahead and cut out the lace now. I'm using my scissors to go around my ear tabs first. You see that? So it's perfect if you do wear glasses that you will easily still be able to put on your glasses even with this wig because again, we do not have that harsh adjustable strap going around the wig. Now I'm taking my wig off to cut the lace off in the back because I do not want to cut the invisible um, strap that's in the back where we can go ahead and pull it in to draw it in together so I'm going to go ahead and draw it in right now before I apply it to my head and it comes with another clear little stop to pull and adjust the wig so that's all I'm doing here is stretching it out and then I'll pull that adjustable piece down to make the wig bunch up in the back so that it's just not flat coming across that is actually fitted to my head that is the best so just what I mean right here you see how it's more fitted and I'll take that comb and put that up through my braids just to make sure everything is secure that's optional I usually cut out my combs but it's perfect when I'm going to be making sure I apply my wig into a ponytail that's very form-fitting now for this wig install, I will be using Erica J lace adhesive. And starting off, I like to apply the glue to my wig cap so I can make sure that I have enough glue to where I can make sure it's getting that full melt. And then on my second layer, I will go ahead and actually bring down the glue. And for whatever reason, Erica J lace glue, you do not have to wait till it turns clear. I put it down when it's white because baby it's going to dry clear and then that's it i love this wig because it melts into my skin seamlessly like it just looks so good it was easy to melt this lace you can use lace adhesive or you can use holding spray you can use anything like that and trust me it's going to melt 100 percent 
And also note that I'm making sure that my hair is completely dry before I go ahead and add my milk band because I don't want any sticky residue or anything like that. I actually think I did pretty well with making sure I didn't get any glue outside of where the lace wasn't at. Now, you know, just to customize this a little bit more, I'm just taking my foundation color and applying that to my wig. And that little scrap was sticking out, so baby, I had to tuck her back in. It is like a clear white color, but we need to make sure she tucked. So yeah, now that I'm going to go ahead and apply my hair into a ponytail, I did add my melt band. And like I said, my hair is completely dry around the edges, so that's fine. And I'm using some got to be glued free spray to help mold my hair into a ponytail and you can use free spray or you can use a wax stick I honestly think by using a wax stick it's more beginner friendly so you know you can just use your better judgment there and I'm showing you here I'm pulling out the little flyaways just to get a more natural look and I will be creating some baby hair just some real soft effortless baby hair because like I said this hairline it's just giving everything that it needs to so some soft little baby hairs is all I need honestly this wig did not need baby hair I'm just a uh, baby hair girl I just really enjoy doing baby hairs on my wigs but you can see you definitely could have left the baby hair out they're thin but very wispy so I love how it looks in a ponytail. This is just one regular ponytail style that I'll be showing you out of many other styles that you can wear this hair. And you see how it looked really good in the back. You can't tell. It's snug around my ears without hurting. It's snug around the back. And it's just very comfortable. Just all around comfortable. Like, like they really did their big one with this wig. The hairline amazing. Pre-plugged. You got the invisible strap in the back. The ponytail look gorgeous. Look how the hair is just flowing. Imagine if I was to wear it down. It would be so gorgeous. But this video is all about the ponytails and the bun. Because the bun look good too. And then I decided to, you know, just spice it up a little bit and add a little ribbon. Well, this is a scarf. I added me a scarf, honey. Top tear you could not tell me anything could not tell me this was not cute it was so pretty so to wrap this all up i decided to wear my ponytail down with the scarf and it was just really really cute i ended up going out that night and it was just a vibe just real pretty i felt like a doll baby you know it was just gorgeous so you know you definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this ponytail style if you would like to try out this 360 wig with the invisible lace straps in the back. So yeah, let me know what you think. And this was later on that night. Ponytail still holding up. Everything looked good. It's all a vibe, baby. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you next time. See ya. You're giving me